Hello everyone, and welcome to the Marketing Cloud API series. In previous videos, you would have seen how to run some of the REST API requests in the Postman collection. In this video, we will look at how to add a few requests that may not be there in the collection for your future use. So if you look at the Postman collection, you will see that the campaign-related requests are not available. So we'll go ahead and add a couple of them, one to create a campaign, and one to get campaign details by ID. Now before adding them, let's look at the documentation. First, let's look at the create campaign uh, uh, API request here. So under REST reference, uh, go to the campaigns section. Uh, you will see create campaign. Uh, and as you can see, it's a post request with hub v1 campaigns. And there's uh, five uh, different parameters that you pa need to pass in the JSON. Uh, ignore this is probably a typo here. It should be a the JSON payload. Uh, and you have to specify the name, description, the campaign code, uh, the color, and if it's a favorite uh, false or true Boolean value. Okay. Once you provide that, uh, you will get a response back with an uh, ID uh, corresponding to that specific campaign that got created uh, with the created date, modified date, and the same five fields uh, reiterating if the values got saved correctly. Okay. Now the second request that we will look at adding is the get campaign uh, details by ID. Um, so it's just uh, below the create campaign you will see there. Um, uh, it's a request where you don't need to like specify any JSON payload, uh, but in the uh, URL parameter here, there's a required parameter, which is the ID. Uh, and this is the ID that you would get back when you created the, um, the campaign in the previous step. Right? Uh, if you already have an existing campaign and you're not sure what the ID is because you will not be able to see that on the UI side, uh, you can go and run the campaign collection, uh, get campaign collection, and it will return uh, the different campaigns that you have uh, in your org, uh, and you will see the ID values for each of those that are being returned. And then you can use that uh, in future if you want to specifically uh, you know, call that particular campaign by ID. Okay. Okay, so now let's look at how to add this into Postman. Uh, the collection that we have here. Um, so uh, we can see under the rest, uh, if you look, there's no folders for campaign. So let's go ahead and create a folder. Uh, let's see, add folder, and uh, let's call it campaigns. Okay, go ahead. Uh, and then uh, within the campaigns folder, uh, we can go ahead and add a request. Uh, the first one that we want to add is uh, create uh, so let's go back to the documentation for create. Uh, it's a post request, uh, and it requires uh, the, the route to be hub v1 campaigns. Okay, uh, So let's go ahead and add that in Postman. Uh, make it a post request. And now uh, the first part of the URL uh, is your uh, tenant-specific um, endpoint. right? So uh, in order to like reuse the campaign variables that we already have in this collection, uh, let's go to one that's already there, uh, probably the email triggered one. Uh, copy the first part of this URL here, because we're going to reuse it. Okay, Go back to your request. Uh, enter that in and then uh, we will append that uh, with the route from our documentation which is slash hub v1 campaign so control c coming back to our postman here and uh, there is an extra slash so let me get rid of that there you go that's the url that you will need uh, in order to create a new campaign in marketing cloud okay now go ahead and rename this as uh, create a campaign And then we need to specify uh, the JSON uh, uh, parameters in the in the body, right? Uh, so go ahead to the body uh, section here, uh, click on uh, raw, change it to JSON here, and then let's go copy paste uh, the the data here from the sample data that we have from here. Okay, so Control C, go back to Postman, let's put that here. Okay, and go ahead and save. Okay, so now we have uh, the create campaign API request uh, created uh, with the proper uh, URL uh, and the, the route uh, along with the JSON uh, parameters as well. Okay, uh, you can also go ahead and create an example uh, if you want to like refer to it later. Like so, if you go ahead and click uh, example, it will create a example just below that particular request. Um, so if you know what the response is and what the um, you know the, the request is, you can go ahead and paste that here. So in case in future, if you want to refer to it, uh, it's a very good um, way to look at it. For instance, if I go to the the ones that are already in the collection, if I go to the triggered send uh, and I click on the example. 
uh, it will actually show me the sample example here and what is the uh, sample response uh, look like for that particular request okay so similarly we can go ahead and, and do that for campaigns as well um, so selecting the example that we just uh, created uh, go to the body section uh, it will have the request that we actually put in uh, in the post uh, request here uh, and then on the response side we can copy that from the documentation because this is the example that we copied over right so you can go ahead and copy this control C let's go to postman control V and then uh, you need to change this to JSON also uh, check out what the the request response is right so it's 202 accepted so let's go ahead and put that here if you type in 202 you will see accepted go ahead and select that and there you go that's your example so if you go to the actual request this is the request which you can edit and then you know try it out uh, if you need to look at you know what the example looks like at a later point in time you can always come back to this example you can see the sample request and what the sample response would look like what is the code uh, that uh, you would expect to receive it when successfully okay now similarly I'm going to add a new request for uh, getting a campaign details by ID so let me go ahead and add request here and this is going to be a get request so let me name this uh, get campaign details by ID okay all right uh, so we can copy the beginning part of the URL uh, just like before uh, control C back here control V and then uh, let's go to our documentation this time look for the get campaign uh, copy the entire route once we come back here let's paste that and you will have the URL right now uh, and this one uh, if you go back to the documentation you will see that there is no uh, body uh, the, the JSON body uh, you only need to provide the ID of the specific campaign uh, to get the details back okay so uh, you don't need to specify anything in the body here uh, as long as you have the correct URL with the route uh, you can go ahead and save that okay now in this one as well uh, we would want to like in a store an example so let's go ahead and click add example and as you can see it will uh, it will create uh, the example with the the same details that you had uh, in the main request okay now uh, here you can change it to the one that you have in the documentation so in the documentation they're using 301 and uh, in the response you will see the response that comes back with 202 okay so let's go ahead and add that uh, so let's change this to 301 okay nothing in the body here uh, and let's change this to JSON Okay, this is a sample response if you send 301 and we saw that it was 202 so let's go ahead and add that in and save so there is your example uh, if you send out a get campaign details by ID for um, a campaign that has an ID 301 uh, this is the response that you will get back um, uh, using an example okay so if we go back to our actual request uh, you will see that it's empty like you can go ahead and uh, add in your specific ID that you need uh, and then you will get to uh, see the response once it comes back from the marketing cloud server okay, okay so now that we have created uh, the two requests for the campaigns um, let's uh, quickly go into marketing cloud under campaigns I have uh, four campaigns that I already have here so we're going to add a new one through the API and then we'll come back and see if it actually got added okay so let's go back to our postman um, so this is the create campaign request uh, nothing that we need to specify uh, in the uh, URL uh, the JSON I already have a custom JSON that I want to use so I'll paste that it's for Christmas 2021 I have the campaign code as 2021 uh, Xmas, Xmas 2021 the color uh, the favorite is false okay so let me go ahead and run this request So when we ran this request, uh, we actually got an error, um, insufficient privileges to complete this action. Uh, this is primarily because um, the uh, access token that we are using uh, doesn't have uh, the scope to um, read or write to campaigns. Okay, So we need to go back into our install package here. Um, let's go ahead and click edit. If you scroll down to the hub section, uh, you will see that campaign is, uh, is not selected. So let's go ahead and select these two. Click on save. Okay, now the um, campaigns has been enabled. 
Um, so now uh, once the um, permissions take uh, into effect, uh, we should be able to execute uh, this re request successfully. So it will take about like uh, five to 10 minutes for um, the, the campaign settings to like kick in in the install package. Um, so I'll just uh, pause and wait and then come back and rerun this request. Okay, so now I, I reran the request. Um, I had to like uh, uh, retrieve the the uh, alt access token one more time, um, and so with the new token, like it was able to like you know run the request for me. Okay, um, so now you can see that uh, I got the ID back for this particular campaign uh, that uh, we just created uh, with the created date, the modified date, uh, as well as uh, you know all the parameters that we have passed in the JSON payload. So I'm going to use this uh, 682 ID. Uh, in our get campaign details. So let's go here uh, and put that here, 682. And then let's see if it will actually get us our data back. Okay, there you go. So it actually retrieves the campaign details, whatever we actually saved uh, earlier uh, in our previous request. Okay, now we'll go ahead and uh, view that in our campaigns as well. Uh, so we ha had four campaigns earlier. So I'll go ahead and refresh the campaigns page. And we should be seeing the fifth one for the Christmas 2021 sales. There you go. So Christmas 2021 campaign has now been created. Uh, it has the details and the code is Xmas 2021. Okay. So as you can see, it's uh, quite easy to add uh, API requests to the collection by referring to the documentation. So you can go ahead, um, you know, check the different uh, API requests that's there in the REST reference. If you don't find them in the collection, you can easily go ahead and add that uh, to your collection for future use. Okay. Thank you for watching.